Alright, so one thing I had to take into consideration uh, when getting these Comp 1.72 rockers is how tall they are. Because they are because they are tall compared to the uh, originals. So I went out and invested in these uh, Holly uh, tall valve covers. So they are just like stock, except for they're much taller. Um, one other thing is that I guess they're not exactly like stock because there's no there's no place for PCV on top. But what can be done with these is, in lieu of running the PCV straight out of the top of the valve cover, we've got these nipples on both sides, both the driver's side and the uh, passenger side. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just go ahead and run a catch can system and put an inline PCV. That way I'm not uh, blowing excess oil back into the intake manifold. So I'll get to that later. But for now, I'm going to get this buttoned up and uh, get those valve covers on it. These valve covers uh, are the angled coil, which basically cleans up the way the coil packs look on top of the valve covers, going from that to that. Valve cover installation is very simple. Probably the easiest thing I've done in a while. Not too crazy about the way they look. Well, we're inching closer. Valve covers. As boring as they are. They're on. They're boring. But they're on. Okay, so I hit a little bit of roadblock. And that is, is that uh, these Holly tall valve covers are made for an LS3 engine, which means that uh, those studs sticking up are 72 millimeters apart. Well, my coil packs are about 69 millimeters apart, which is stock coil packs that are on a Vortec engine. I don't know whether that's the same as an LS1 or not. But anyhow, so I have to make some brackets uh, so that my coil packs will work. And I had to pull the valve covers off. And seeing as how I never really liked the way the valve covers looked anyway, they're going to get a paint job. So, here goes nothing. Alright, there is light coat number one. Alright, so after three coats of orange and three coats of clear and hanging out all night how tall those guys are created a little bit of a problem that these stock coils don't fit the 72 millimeter LS3 I guess they're LS3 uh, bolt configuration so I'm going to have to create some brackets to use these. So we'll figure that one out and uh, we'll go from there. Here is an example of the height difference between the old ones and the new ones. Once again, those are the uh, Hollies, Holly Tall. Okay, so the stock configuration was putting the coils here, and that is a smaller hole than that than that right there. That hole right there, uh, I was able to find these M16 by one. Uh, this package happens to be by 12, but I think these guys are a little bit longer stuff that I had laying around, um, but. The important part is uh, M, did I say 16? M6 by one by whatever length. The ones in the bag are 12s. The ones out here I think are 14s or 16s, that doesn't matter. But my intent is to use these brackets and I'll show you what I intend to do with them. Oh, but the point of bringing up the bolts was 
uh, these guys have a bigger diameter uh, than the originals that went right there. So I actually had to drill a hole. Uh, I drilled a 15 64ths hole. And I had to do that in every single one of these guys. These are the new ones over here. Uh, I drilled a 15 64ths hole in them. So that, that would be a pretty good fit. don't have any metric uh, I don't have any metric drill bits so here's what it's gonna look like so this is roughly what it's gonna look like with a little bracket like that and uh, I put the spark plug wire I actually tested this before I painted and I put the spark plug wire on it and the spark plug and I put it on uh, both sides inside the engine to make sure that everything was going to line up, and it does, including even a, a millimeter or so of space right here. You can still still get the uh, oil fill cap on. And there's plenty of room with the spark plug wires uh, for the spark plugs to get in their homes. Now, what I did not account for is on the passenger side, right about here, is a bracket that holds the heater hoses. Maybe it goes like this. I did not account for that. And with my situation here, I'm gonna either have to rework this or what. Uh, now, I guess if you're a good welder, I don't remember whether it goes this way or this way. I think it might go this way. I forget. But that's pretty flush right there. If, you know how to weld, I suppose you could weld that. I don't know anything about welding or whether you can even weld aluminum or not. I don't know jack about welding. But I might just decide to, well, I kind of painted myself in a corner here. There's not much I can do, I can't use this. Uh, but I think from a functionality standpoint with everything else, uh, I think I'm good to go. Uh, MSD does make LS3 coils that have 72 millimeters that would fit these. They're $408. I've I already purchased those a long, long, long time ago. Um, so I'm stuck with what I'm stuck with. But uh, oh also I'm gonna have to in, I'm gonna have to install these before I install these. So that's gonna be kind of a pain to do in the engine compartment, but uh, I don't really have a whole lot of choice seeing as how I can't torque the valve covers down with the uh, coils in the way. So I'll just have to deal with that. Alright, this is how these turned out. There it is. I like it a lot better than uh, that stock color that it was. So I got them on. There's my little brackets. I think it worked all right. They're in there. They're, each of them are nice and tight. And uh, that spark plug wire is going to be hard to get on. But All right, so the valve covers are in. The coils are plugged up. Looks like a little light and less wires. So then their coils is plugged in. Fuel injectors are plugged in. And it is a neater presentation than the uh, than that stock monster thing. <laughs>